Oh well, hi folks. Uh, what I have here is uh, a Hewitt Packard 25, the uh, non-C version, which is the uh, non-CMOS uh, version for programming. I um, uh, today is it's February 2023, and I bought this calculator back in 1976 or 1977. I was going to school in Madison, Wisconsin. Bought it from a street vendor, uh, Blue Lakes Discount, as I recall, and uh, had a good time with it in college. And so, this is a, an RPN calculator. It's a reverse Polish notation. And um, let me turn it on. There you go. We got the. It's on, and let me set it for uh, nine digits of display. And uh, let's pull up a number like pi. And um, so, <clears throat> still works. Uh, I've what I've done with the LCD display or LED display is. Um, it was a press fit thing into the main board, so I soldered the all the joints on the LED display panel onto the main board, so it never would fail. And I think I did some uh, internal power rewiring, so it just runs straight off of a three volt uh, adapter, three volt uh, DC adapter. So um, it's a programmable calculator. You would actually uh, turn the switch at the top here and you would enter your program steps and then you switch it back and then you run do the run stop, run stop button here but uh, the calculator still works pretty well as far as I know let's say we want to multiply this pi number by 9 hit the times button you get that so you want to divide by three or something? No, let's say divide by four, maybe four. Divide, and um, so it works pretty well. I've also written some uh, programming uh, uh, things for my calculator back when I was in high school or college, I should say. Uh, this one was a uh, something to do with factorials. Uh, Second order Runge Kutta calculation. Magnitude phase of transfer function and impedances. Uh, integration Simpson method. Power coefficients. Or, I'm sorry, Fourier coefficients. Third order Runge Kutta calculation. Some type of base conversion. Complex power or roots. Two by two complex determinant. Adaptive uh, secant uh, method. And uh, something to do with super matrix. And um, so, anyways, calculator works after uh, about 45 years, I guess it is. And um, not bad. So, Thank you very much. It runs off an AC adapter, it's 3 volts. And let me show you the back side. Let me turn this off first. It uh, has the uh, original plug adapter which I, I spliced into an AC adapter and then the battery is no longer installed. So. Um, It's kind of nice that uh, 
it still works. So let me turn it back on. Set the uh, digits to nine. And uh, well, let's pull up high again. And let's say we say divide by eight or something. Now let's do a division. And uh, so, you know, functionally it still works as far as I know. Not bad after 40 some years. I don't use it very often, obviously. It's been off for <laughs> a long time. But uh, still powers up and runs. So, nice thing about this calculator. Thanks a lot.